Hi friends, this is Amy with Leap of Faith Crafting and today I'm going to show you um, a tutorial on how to use Inkscape to convert a file that you find on like Google or something into an SVG file so you can use it then in Cricut Design Space um, as a layered image. So most files you download, you, you just get like the silhouette or the outline when you upload them into Design Space. but um, if you convert it to an SVG, then you can <clears throat> actually create all the different layers um, and then use that for iron-on or <clears throat> cards or anything you'd like to. So Inkscape is a free software that you can download. And I really don't know how to use a lot of Inkscape. Um, there are a lot of great tutorials on if you really want to get into Inkscape and use everything it has to offer. I just use it for this purpose. So when I get into Inkscape, it looks like this, and I would go up to File and go to Open. Um, I have a car that I downloaded um, as a PNG from a free commercial site um, that I'm going to show you on. So this is what comes up when we first hit Open, and I always hit OK. And for some reason, it that's <laughs> opens up a new thing. So, um, so this is the car that I have that I'm going to use to make layers of it. So I can um, have a green layer and make this red and this yellow. Um, so with this type of image, it's pretty easy. Um, when you get into more images like people and stuff that have a lot of different colors and layers, it makes it pretty difficult. This is what I used if you saw my Disney shirts that I made my Mary Poppins shirt with and Pumbaa and Animal. I made a few different layers of them. Um, from this. So what you do is you click on the image and up here on the toolbar bar up here it says path. Click that down and go into trace bitmap and this little thing will open up here. Um, so I go into colors because I want the colors of it and scans. There's not a whole lot of colors here so I'm going to try six scans um, and see what it does. And that still didn't get that light um, red. Um, so if I go up to eight scans, it does make this headlight yellow now. Um, so you can see that it has all the different ones. Um, you can mess around if you went to four and hit update. This light in the front here is still red. Um, so it needs more scans to get all of them. And if you do too many scans, um, it's still going to look the same, but you're going to have a lot of different layers. So all these scans are different layers that you're going to have. Um, so I'm going to go back and see what the minimum scan I can have to keep that yellow. So seven looks like it is because when I went to six, it went back to red. So I'm just going to push OK here. Okay, and so I get rid of that. So to save this, I'm just going to click on this box again. I'm going to come up here to save as. And I'm going to do city card. And you can see here it saves it as an SVG. So I'm going to just save this to my desktop so I can find it. So I'm going to hit save. And then that's <clears throat> going to save it. So when I come into Cricut Design Space, uh, I'm going to go into just a new project so you can see how to upload. So I'm going to upload an image. I'm going to go here and click here. And hit the upload button. And hit the browse button. And I know it was on my desktop. And it was city car. So I'm going to open that. <coughs> So it always will say this, um, I always just hit continue. So there's the car, it's an SVG, so you don't need to do any edits or anything. So you're just going to come down here and hit the save button. And design space is being a little slow today. Okay, so it said it was saved. So you can see these other ones that... I have tried to save that's a little harder. So I'm going to click this one to input it. 
let's make that smaller so we can see it. Um, okay, so on here, um, so now I'm just gonna go and kind of, here's all the layers that it did. Um, I'm gonna X that one so I don't need the background. So then I kind of go through and make layers disappear and see what happens to the car and see if I still like it. Um, so the yellow one I know I want, the red, the green, this one, I'm gonna see if I, I don't really see a difference, so I'm gonna make that one disappear. So then, um, <clears throat> so then if you actually take this apart, you will see if you go down here to ungroup and ungroup these, you will see that they are all the full length of the cars. And for me, I don't like to waste that much vinyl. So I'm going to go back into, um, I'm going to undo all of that. So it goes back together and I'm actually going to slice the tail light and the headlight out. So I just have small pieces and I will just have to know how I line it up when I do shirts or whatever. So, um, I am actually going to move this black one and I'm going to grab this green one and hit my control function. Actually, I'm going to move the green to the back. So I'm going to do a range, move to back. Let's take the red one out first. I'm going to move this yellow one back so you can see. <clears throat> okay, so I have, so I want to slice out this one right here. So I am going to go down here and hit my yellow. Actually, you can just make a square around the whole thing and that captures both. And then up here on this function, I'm going to hit slice. And so that will slice out these little yellow pieces here. So now I'm going to get rid of this layer because I don't need it. I'm going to keep that green one as is. And this up here to slice out just this little one, I'm going to actually insert a shape, do a square. There's a few different ways you can slice all these out and do it. Um, I always use squares to slice out. So I'm going to put this over here, hit my control button on my keyboard, click on that whole thing and hit slice again. So then I can just take that one out. So then all this stuff I don't need. So I'm going to box it and just exit. So for the red one, <clears throat> I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line these up. The center them so they're totally together. And since they're already there, I'm going to hit the slice button. And you should have this little red right here. Um, so this red one again, I'm going to exit because I don't need it. And all this stuff I don't need. It was just extra stuff it cut. So I'm going to insert a shape here, another little square and put it over this red box. So <clears throat> hit my control button, hit this button, hit the slice again. Oops, I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm gonna do it on this one, move it to the back. So I have that one still clicked. I'm going to hit my control button again, click on this whole thing and slice it. So now I have that red piece out. And then I'm going to box all this and get rid of all of this. So now I have 
going to move this to the front so you can see. So I'm going to put this one back there. Put this there. And put this back on top. Um, so there you have all of it where now you have just small pieces um, where you can fit it in. Um, I'm going to select it all to, and then push group down here just so I can group it back together so now I can move things around and make them bigger, smaller, whatever. Um, when you're in the process of slicing and doing all that, you do not want to make anything bigger or smaller because then you will lose the proportion size to it. So now that it's all done, I can put it all back together. Um, so the, there, when you go to cut it, now you're just going to have four layers. So when you go to go, <clears throat> you'll have the black, the green, just that little red square, and then just that little yellow headlight. So then you're not wasting a lot of vinyl when you do it. So that's all there is to it to um, <clears throat> up, download something into Inkscape and then upload it into Design Space. Um, if you get into designs with more colors, you're going to have to make a lot more layers. Sometimes, you know, I made up to 15 to 20 layers. And again, I come in here and I um, hide some if it's something I don't need. Or if there's something that are similar colors, I will weld them together. So then it um, breaks down on the amount that I have to do. Um, so hopefully that explained a few things for you. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.